Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Parker. Today I've got another ranking video. That is right. Like I always say, these do so good on the channel and I really appreciate all the support. So today I'm going to be ranking every single weapon and item in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. So before we hop into it, let me quickly go over the criteria on how I'm going to be ranking and what I'm going to be ranking exactly. So first off, this is my opinion. You guys can totally disagree with me. If you do, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. I will not be including exotics or any meds or healables. And also, I will not be including any map changes or new features this season. So that's basically it. And then also, I will not be ranking like the vehicles that have been in the season for a long time. The only vehicle I will be ranking today is the baller just because they return this season. So essentially, anything new that we've never seen before or that has returned, I will be ranking. And then every weapon that is included this season, I will be ranking as well. So guys, without any further ado, let's hop straight into it. Alrighty, so first up we've got the auto shotgun. This is not a new weapon this season, it is returning. I'm gonna go ahead and put this under good. I seem to be using this shotgun very, very often. Um, we'll get to the new shotgun later on, but yeah, I just love how this weapon feels. The fire rate is pretty quick and the damage values are pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna leave it under good. That's just how I feel about it. Alrighty, next up we've got the baller. So this is not a new item, but it returned this season. The last time we saw it, I'm pretty sure it was actually in chapter two, I believe, maybe even chapter one. I feel like it's been so long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rank these right now. We're gonna go ahead and put them under good. I would put them under OP because Definitely when they first came out, they were OP, but they did add a thing where they have a certain charge and they will run out over time. However, I don't think the charge goes down if you just drive it. The charge only goes down when you boost it. So it is really, really close to OP because, I mean, you're so protected in this thing. It's got a grappler on the front of it. You can just fling around the whole map. So these things are awesome. I freaking love the ballers. Moving on, we've got the combat SMG. Again, this one is returning from last season. I'm going to go ahead and put this under good as well i know there's a lot of good so far um honestly it's an smg that i use all the time it i'll talk about the stinger one later but damage value is pretty good um the legendary one definitely is the best obviously but i do like this slightly over the stinger just because of the the clips are bigger and i feel like the damage is better i don't know it could be just me but yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave this under good Next up, we've got the cow catcher. So this is another returning item from last season. I'm going to go ahead and rank this under good again. Holy smokes. I hope we get some all right ones. So this item, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you all do, but you throw it on the front of a vehicle and it allows you to ram through buildings or even players. And it actually increases the damage when you hit a player. So they're pretty cool. And they also serve as building basically in the no build mode. You can throw them on the ground and it builds a barrier that actually takes a lot of hits to destroy. So that's why I'm gonna put it under good. Next up, we've got our first new weapon of this season. It is the DMR. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing. Ooh, I don't wanna put it under good again because we have so many things there. But ooh, it's close between good or all right. Okay, we're gonna leave it under all right right now. So I. When I first saw this gun, I thought it was a sniper and then I use it and it takes medium ammo or AR ammo and it's got 10 rounds, I believe, per clip and what it it acts kind of like the, the scoped AR except the damage values are higher, but you do have to lead your shots a little bit with it. That's why I'm putting it under all right. I just don't see myself using it as much over like the heavy sniper, for example. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Fireflies, uh, let's put them under not bad. I mean, th there's nothing new about these. You just throw them and they catch things on fire they can do damage to players but who just carries these personally i have never carried these in my inventory i think i've only used them like three times maybe if i walk past them and i just want to light something on fire but never really gotten a kill with them so yeah they're just they're not bad all right our next new weapon of this season is the hammer ar Oof, i would almost put it under trash this thing i'm not feeling it at all the recoil is nuts and the clips empty so fast the damage seems so low the range is horrible i i don't use this thing at all unless i really have to so i might even move it to trash later but i'm going to keep it there for now so yeah definitely not a good weapon the harpoon all right i don't know why this is even on here but we'll put it under not bad again it's one of those items that i almost never use if i see it and then there's a fishing spot sure i'll use it because it's good for fishing but 
pretty much never use it, so it could be worse. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave under not bad. The heavy sniper. Okay, I would put this under OP. It was definitely OP when it first came out, but we're going to put it under good. Holy smoke. There's a lot of good weapons and items in the category, but I will put it here just because when they brought it back, they nerfed it so badly and like the headshot i believe is 180 or something i remember when it did like 365 like that's insane i honestly kind of wish it still did that but i'm telling you my accuracy with this thing is on point it is so much fun and it scares the crap out of people so we're gonna leave it there all right the sidearm pistol we're gonna go ahead and put this under all right it's one of those weapons where it's like if you need it, it's there, but no one really carries them. They do 50 something headshot damage, which is actually crazy. If you can hit shots and you have a fast trigger finger, then use a pistol, honestly. It's gonna be better than an SMG in some scenarios. So yeah, like I said, it's one of those weapons where it's like, if you have to use it, it's there. All right, the Ranger AR. Okay, I'm gonna put this here, hear me out. So if you're crouching and not moving the accuracy on this thing is just nuts headshot is crazy high yes the fire rate is definitely slower but especially in the no build mode if you find someone just lacking out in the open they're pretty much done if you if you've got good aim and you've got the ranger ar they're done for so i love this weapon this is my go-to ar this season so far it, it just feels so awesome Alrighty, next up is another new item, the Reality Saplings. All right, these things are going under OP. And hear me out. So if you guys have not used these, basically what they are is you can find them in like that mushroom biome, which is new this season. And you can plant these saplings on the ground by throwing them. And you come back the next match, they are in the exact same spot where you left them. And over time, you'll be able to collect loot. And it starts at common and goes all the way up to legendary loot. So you can land here and you're guaranteed like a legendary loadout and full shield ammo. It's OP, but that's why it's in the category. I love these things. I honestly land at them pretty often. So yeah, they're super cool. All right, the revolver, I'm gonna put it under trash. It's gonna be our first trash one. I've used it a couple times and I don't wanna use it again. Just, it's so hard to hit shots, especially in no builds. And because people can sprint, jump high, slide, good luck hitting shots, especially from a distance because there's no scope. It, I just do not like the revolver. It's so bad, honestly. The hand cannon was a lot better when that was in the game, but yeah, I'm not feeling this one. Rift to go is going to be under good as well. This item is a returning item, and I love these things because when you're in a situation where you're about to die and you got one of these, you're out of there. And especially with no builds, this is huge. I definitely pick these up and hold on to them if I have an open slot. Otherwise, I'll usually replace it with a heavy sniper because they're so good. So we're gonna leave those there. Love these items. Next up is Shockwave. So this is another returning item. I'm actually gonna put these under OP and hear me out. And yet I do need to use these more often. I, I don't know why I don't. These things allow you to fly like crazy, get out of situations where you're about to die. You can break through stuff, throw people into the storm. Who knows? They're so versatile. And they're freaking awesome i need to honestly use these more the main thing is definitely escaping but also if you want to get a nasty trick shot or some sort of play on someone just shoot into the air and land on them with a shotgun i've done that before it's so much fun that's why they're going in op honestly they could be even better obviously if they launched you further but they're not going to do that so they're already op they're super cool all right the stinger smg so i would either put it under good or all right but just because Ooh, not because there's not space, but I'm going to put it under all right just because I like the combat slightly better. I don't know how to explain this, but it's just based off experience, how many kills I've gotten and my accuracy. It just feels different. So it's definitely a good SMG. If I find a legendary one of these over like a common or uncommon of the combat SMG, I will definitely pick up the stinger. So they're reliable. They're there. So we're gonna leave it under all right. Next up is the Burst AR. Okay, we're gonna put this one under good. So I remember the last ranking video I did, I think I put this one pretty low, and that was because my aim was just bad. That's kind of why. Um, I've definitely been using this a lot more. It is my second go-to AR over the Ranger Assault Rifle. I do like how it feels now. The double burst is pretty sick, and of course, the scope is what makes it awesome because i mean you can see better right and if someone's out in the open and you've got good aim those double burst headshots are nasty moving on we've got the striker pump shotgun this one is op as well I, hitting those headshots with the legendary are just it feels like the og pump okay whoa 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 not quite not quite not the, like 280 headshot but 
this thing does some solid damage and especially if you guys have good accuracy use this thing it's the closest thing we have to the pump right now so i love this thing definitely my go-to shotgun Alrighty, our last new weapon of this season is the two-shot shotgun it's under trash i'm telling you every time i use this i die in any up close battle it takes so long to shoot in between each round and the damage is so low you would think for a weapon like this that takes so long to shoot that the damage would be high because you know if you hit that one shot then boom they're done but no the damage is so low and then by the time it you're ready to shoot your next shot you're dead i just do not like this gun at all i hope you guys agree with this because my experience has been terrible so they definitely need to either buff this gun or just take it out and replace it last but not least is not a weapon or an item really it is the wolves and the boar so we got these in chapter 2 season 6 or season kind of um but they're back and they're way better so you can ride these things which is really cool and they sprint for a long time i'm gonna go ahead and put these things under oh i could fit these here but do i want to i think they're all right just because yes they are pretty fast but when you try and get one they they attack you so it's kind of weird and then you have to perfectly jump on them to mount them and then you're just kind of a sitting duck though when you're running around because there's no protection nothing um and they're very loud too like the stomping and stuff the whole map's gonna hear you so i'm gonna leave these under all right just because i don't really use them that often i have a couple times to escape but cars are way better. Same with ballers are way better. So yeah, we're gonna put those there. Alrighty guys, that is my final tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you agree with the tier list. If you do guys, please drop a like on the video and please consider subscribing guys. It really means a lot. And of course, if you're picking up anything in the item shop, please pop in code ParkerDV. I really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later. Peace.